Okay, so this is going to be the dividend note for the 2016 Leaving Cert Accounting Mock or the pre-paper. So um, if we look first of all, there is, let's see now, oh yes, dividends paid up here of 54,000. So it's not interim dividends and there's nothing down in the additional information about proposing to pay more dividends. So there's just one figure for total dividends paid for the year is 54,000. Okay, so if I write that down here, 54,000 just to do my workings. Now, some of that is ordinary dividends, some of that is preference dividends. So if we look down here, 6% uh, preference shares, 500,000. So if we get 6% of 500,000 to see what the uh, preference shareholders should be getting uh, in terms of dividends, 6%, that'll give me 60, 30,000. So that's how much the preference uh, dividend will be for the year. Okay, if the total dividend was 54, then when I subtract 30 from it, I should get the ordinary dividend. So 24,000 is your ordinary dividend. Okay, so we're nearly there. So if we're writing out the note, we'd have, uh, it'd be your dividends note. Dividends paid, and you'd have Something like this, ordinary, ordinary dividends, and then your preference dividends. And in total, your ordinary dividends were 24,000, preference dividends were 30,000. Altogether, that adds up to the 54 we had from our trial balance. So 54,000. Now, on top of that, we must always show what that works out to be um, per, per share. And the preference dividend one is easy because it's just one figure, whereas preference, 6% is the preference shares. They're one euro shares. So it's going to be six cent per share if we worked it out. Where are we? Oh yeah, per share. For the ordinary dividends, we have a little bit more work to do. We've got to take what they got paid, which is 24,000. Do it down here, 24,000. And we've got to divide it by the number of ordinary shares. Now, this is all assuming, um, let me just scroll down here. This is all assuming that they're all one euro shares. I mean, they have never been anything but one euro share. Um, but if they were different, then you couldn't assume, like for instance, uh, where's our ordinary shares? We've got 900,000 euros, and if each one of them is one euro share, that means there are 900,000 shares. But if they were two euro shares, which, as I say, I've never seen coming up, then really, if each share costs two euros, then you only have 450,000 actual shares to make up this figure of 900,000, because 450 multiplied by two gives you the 900. Okay, so... Uh, but there's no problem. They are one euro share. So we take this divided by the total number of shares who have to um, share out this 24,000 between them. Uh, then maybe multiply by 100 to change. Your answer is going to be originally in euros and multiply by 100 to get it into cents. Let me get the calculator. Uh, what did I say? 24,000 divided by 900. That multiply by 100 just to get it into cent, and it's 2.66. But if we round it off to two decimal places, which we usually would, that would be 2.67. So, uh, cent per share, not a huge amount. Uh, seven cent.